Lizzo is in the news. Mm. Did you see Lizzo at Cardi's party? No, and I'm glad I didn't see Lizzo at Cardi's party. Now, people, this is a photo of her at the party, y'all. Now, I didn't see her. I heard that she was there. Um, you know, she said she was going to come and give her best version of Rihanna and that she was going to let it all hang out. It was a party that Cardi said she wanted it to be ratchet. And this gives ratchet tees for sure. This gives ratchet tees for sure. And I think looking at her here, I mean, kind of makes me want to go back to pussy, honestly. What do you <laughs> think? First of all, does Lizzo have on bottoms? I don't know if she had anything on. It was covered up by her Wow. Stomach. By her, you know what? That is that is outrageous. Um, I personally don't like Lizzo. Um, so I'm glad I didn't see her. Uh, Lizzo makes me want to say things that I never, like, I feel like wait, I shouldn't wait, say. Wait, 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 wait. She's one of the, I've, I've met her. She's a nice, beautiful spirit, nice human being. Why don't you like her? Because I feel like everything is just so about like the attention, like the response from us. Like everything is, it's less about the music. The fact that the girl is so talented and she always leans towards these stunts, you know, and then cries about it. That's what sends me. You know what I mean? It's it, it's one thing if you just owned it, like this is what I do. But then it's another thing to go on a press tour about how people fat shame you and don't treat you right. And you're going on Good Morning America crying and all this bullshit. And then to try to sell a record. And then you sit up here and well, do the uh, same but, thing. But, but the flip side of that, though, is that when Rihanna mm -hmm. wore it, we said she was great. And to some standards, people say she's too skinny. I love Rihanna. I think her body is amazing. She's constantly attacked. Oh, she gains a little weight. She's pregnant. She she can't even get a break. But one thing I will say about Lizzo that I do like and respect is somebody who was overweight like that. I mean, she does exude body positivity and wanting people to normalize her body for what it is. But that doesn't mean that she's absent from being human and catching feelings when people attack her at the volume that she's being attacked. So I think you can still love your body and flaunt it and still be human and vulnerable enough and show that it hurts when people hurt your feelings. No, no. Does she really love her body or is she the woman that secretly went to Mexico and went on a diet? And then when when the fat community caught her on a diet, they almost canceled her. So she had to continue being fat. Let's be very clear here. Lizzo is with the stunts and the shows, and we can never put Lizzo and Rihanna in the same category, and we should never speak them out of our mouths like that ever again. That is very disrespectful. Rihanna, when, when she see, steps when out... I see, when I see Rihanna and Lizzo, I see the same person. Okay, let me well, explain. Let me, I don't. Let me explain. Let me explain. Not body-wise, but confidence-wise in what they're wearing that makes them feel good. And shouldn't that be enough? Rihanna is effortlessly chic and edgy and dope, and it's very calculated. It, it, it's strict, like it, it, it's fashion. It's just Rihanna. It, it, she just gets Lizzo is. They'll talk about me today. Let's just be all fucking naked and no. And I, we don't even know she was at the party. You was all over that party, Jason. You didn't see Lizzo. She could have just sat, popped out there, had her camera guy take a picture because she knew that she was going to go viral. She got her big ass back in that damn car. Just to have people talking about her. Why are we not talking about Lizzo music? Why? Because three years ago, she got, what, two, three, four Grammys, and then she was struggling for a record? She's been struggling for a record uh, since, uh, since I, what, what is that, Good as Hell? And the rumors? I, don't get me started, Jason, because I, I know that's your friend. Don't I get me started. No, 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 no. Lizzo is not my friend. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've only met her once. I will say I did walk around that entire party from the back room to the stage to the this, and I did not see Lizzo. She wasn't uh -huh. there. She did. Uh, she came for that photo so we could talk about it, and and, and she can cry about it and no, show her no, ass no, in the no, studio no, later. No, no, Tiffany said they so she saw her in the party, but you know Taraji P Henson was there too. Did you see her? I didn't even see her either. No shade. I didn't see her either. Did you see yeah. Snoop Dogg? I I didn't see Snoop Dogg either. They were all they were all there. I'm I know. I seen them after the fact. Yeah, I didn't even see Nikita Dragon, and she was there. They said that she had more I security than Cardi B. I seen the key to dragons. I, I saw her when they, they wouldn't let her in at first, but when they did, I saw her. <laughs> she's been on house arrest. She told me she was on house arrest following that whole tiger thing. I don't know what, I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, sure. She looks great. She looks yeah, like a but, but yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to drag Lizzo too much over here. I've done enough dragging Lizzo on my, on my platform, but I'm just saying Lizzo, it, it's just the antics for me and I'm just not sold on it. Like, here's the thing, body, First of all, let's just be very clear here. We have to stop pushing this narrative that being overweight is somehow just healthy and okay. 
Okay, you can you can be overweight and understand that you might want to lose some weight and you can be fat and understand how to dress your fat. Just because you're overweight and you come through in a sequence, a sequence or a, a sheer number and, and it's flying all over. That doesn't look good. And we have to be honest with ourselves and say, this is not fat shaming. That looks sloppy. It's not taste. When well, you're when well, you're bigger, you have to dress for your size. Well, when we posted her on Hollywood Unlocked, they did say she looked like a bag of trash. I felt that that was a little too far. I will say, as somebody who was oversized, I and people say, oh, I never knew you was that big. Bitch, because I knew how to dress. I knew how to cover things. I knew how to layer things. I knew how to work things. But I will say, when it got to a point to where I was insecure, I went and did something about it. The one thing I agree with you is that Lizzo does need to pick a side. Do, are you going to cry and scream that everybody's calling you fat? Or are you going to go to Houston and see Dr. Marvin like I did and throw that 11000 on the table and come back as a snatch bitch? You got to decide the struggle. For me, I'm confused at what she's trying to do, but I do support the fact that she's loving herself when a lot of other people like you don't. Yeah, but it's a bunch of BS because if Lil Nas X was out here wearing his ass out, it'd be World War Three, World War Three. You know what I'm saying? Like Lil Nas, I can't. Lil Nas X is Lil Nas ass is on its way out. It's on. And it should. I'd rather see that. At least it's gonna sit high. <laughs> Wait. Side note: Did you see Lil Nas X's ex boyfriend at the party? Yeah, I did see him. I seen him with the court. I seen him with Sean Bakehead, they, the choreographer. They're dancers, right? Uh, no, he, I invited him. He came there with me, but yes. Oh, he, he came there with you. Oh, okay, okay. I saw Sean Bank, Sean Bank here there too. Oh, I thought they were together. Okay, see, thank you for clearing that oh. up. So you, so you were you invited uh, Lil Nas X's boyfriend. Does he speak English? Yes, he's Colombian. He speaks English. It's a little broken, but he speaks. Okay, very but you know what? He sure. looks like he looks on his Instagram. He's very cute. Very cute, very cute. And his friends were there. They had a little birthday. I think they all decided to dress like Easter eggs because everybody was a different neon color. It was cute. The party, did you have a good time? Oh, I had a blast at the party. You took pictures with everybody. How did you get all those pictures? I mean, I didn't take, I only took like two pictures. You know, honestly, I don't even know. I didn't even really get as many pictures as I wanted, but um, I just was out there talking to people and taking pictures. Now, what's interesting is though, you can kind of tell when people know you from the internet, because I a couple of people were cutting their eyes at me. I'm like, girl, I must have read her before. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you just you just assume the position and you get ready to see what they're gonna give. You know, and typically they just walk past you or they just cut their eyes at you, like you know. And you know, or, it's it's or, an interesting or situation. Or you come with security who have guns and you tell them shoot them. Just yeah, make sure I get home. You know what I mean? But yeah, so how how was it? Is that was that your first like? industry party that with, was because because that party was very mixy it was a lot going on in there it was a lot going on and you know i wanted to make sure that i didn't drink so much because i wanted to make sure that i could see everything that was actually going on um because i'm just nosy and that was my first i was taking it all in but it was actually a great experience um it, i had fun like it was dope